Visually impaired veterans from across the U.S. have traveled to Sparks for the Blinded Veterans Association Convention. John Potter went to the Nugget to check out the big helping hand that they're now getting, especially from new technology. I'm what they call an explorer. Chuck Miller lives by this rule. Life is not over just because you can't see. For me, it was better to live than to die. So I, um, I don't let my blindness stop me from doing anything. A positive mind to keep going. He's one of many sight impaired veterans here. The Blinded Veterans Association speaks for these vets and brings them together as one. You're with your fellow blinded veterans, everyone other than instructors, and some instructors are blind. The World Health Organization says 4% of the world's population is blind or visually impaired. That affects about 7.5 million Americans. The good news for the blind veterans here is a new high-tech solution being prescribed by the Reno VA. Whatever my nose is pointed at, the camera's pointing in the same direction. The OrCam My Eye reads visual text out loud and it'll read specifically that WCBS TV New York and once your store faces into it tells you who's in front of you Stephen Hamilton Stephen had 18 failed operations before he finally accepted that his vision was lost and I really thought life was over the only thing that I could do was just walk around the walls through the Reno VA he had a chance to try this the uh, color identification is fantastic for somebody like me that uh, uh, still wants to match clothes and everything else. Chuck uses a similar system called IRA that describes everything around him. So there's a live agent that sees uh, what you see through the camera. So um, you can literally do anything. High tech and camaraderie helping those who deal with sight loss to make the most of every well-deserved opportunity life brings. Covering the story, John Potter, Channel 2 News. And if you would like to know more about those new computerized aids for the blind, we have a link for you on the online version of this story at KTVN.com or our KTVN News app.